welcome this is the energy vibration um, for the full moon a reading for the water sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful supports likes and shares please remember um, to cross watch and also listen to your Sun moon and rising sign this um, a full moon reading is for um, the Pisces cancer and scorpion I want to say to each and every person um, please remember um, to um, like share these videos and to make sure um, to go on on the month to get the extended um, of this reading it's going to cost for um, 50 minutes it's just a cup of coffee it's 2 99 it is good to have the full reading because there's a lot of information that is going to be coming out now what's happening in um, this month um, as we do as always uh, um, we have uh, um, the Sun then we have the moon then we have uh, um, the um, the central of what is going to be ha happening and the outcomes is Neptune so this is good for you Pisces be um, for the Pisces people because Neptune is here um, Neptune is going to align you listen um, to your intuition um, some of you can connect and um, go to Neptune and ask for help okay Mars is also here so there's going to be some career changes for the people who were born in the day between the hours of 12 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening you're having um, the energies of uh, um, Mars affecting you okay when Mars comes in it's all about the career it's all about the changing of the career it's all about the career this is good because um, Mars is here and when Mars comes up it has um, the element vibration of moving you um, to a better place okay it's, it's all about moving you um, to a better place that is going to be helping you to align you Mars is associated with the gods of Mars representing every power and drive such as um, competitive some of you are going to be competitive and um, some aggression might come up but issues about courage confidence passion and strength are also part of uh, this Mars coming in now what is so um, wonderful is that with your work Jupiter is here Mars and Jupiter together is wonderful especially for creative people for people who have their own business this is going to be good because as Jupiter is here Jupiter is connected with the God of uh, um, the Roman God of Jupiter okay and it rules the heaven and the hurt so that is so good because we see here Capricorn um, coming in Jupiter rules the heaven and the earth so we see here Capricorns coming in as an earth sign um, and though it's a fair and just protector Jupiter is often um, thought of the planet of luck and expansion so some of you Capricorns are going to be bringing in some luck and expansion for you guys you water sign are going to be affected um, by the air sign by the earth sign and by the fire sign because they're coming in and you can see this happening for you guys okay so there is some luck that is coming in for the Sun people so if you were born in the day um, you Sun people some luck is going to be coming in for you the desire of understanding the bigger picture this is what is going to be happening for you guys the desire to understand bigger picture optimism um, faith and spirituality because Neptune is here to show the energy of the spirituality and it rules issues so this is very very good for you guys um, um, if you're having a legal situation um, you're going to be justified you sun sign people if you're having um, a legal situation you're going to be justified because um, what is happening and what is transpired is that Libra is here and Libra is a coordinate a cardinal sign just like the the Capricorns are which is the center because a whole lot of you um, the Capricorns are going to be coming in and helping you guys whether in work situation they're going to be coming in and helping you now the Librans these are people who were born September 23rd to October 22nd 
and they are also coming in and they're all about balance okay the liberals or cardinal signs so you have two cardinal signs that is coming in to help you um, Jupiter and uh, Capricorns or cardinal sign and Jupiter the key of Jupiter is that I am balanced okay so some balance in people are going to be balancing themselves out some luck is going to be coming in Capricorn people are from December 22nd until January 19 and their cardinal sign and they their phrases that I use I use whatever I have to make a, a things possible for myself in my life and this is what is coming in to help you guys Neptune is very much here Neptune is your ruling planet and Neptune is going to be up at this full moon for you guys to help you guys to go through Neptune is the Roman God of Neptune who um, was the ruler of the fresh and the salt water sea of the hurt Neptune is a complex planet it governed these uh, divine human driven such as images compassion and the psychic experience a lot of you are going to be feeling psychic whether or not you are a Sun sign or a moon sign you are going to be driven and feel very very psychic you're going to be having psychic experience you're going to be having dream time so from November 15 until December 15 it's going to be a really really um, psychic time for you psychic experience dreams where dreams coming in okay so bundled with these ideas and issues of um, sacredness okay the observation balancing between giving and uh, receiving and fear um, a large sum of money could be coming in for some of you okay alrighty now we're going to be looking at the moon sign now the moon people are going to be working with the Gemini's and um, the Gemini's come in now what is so beautiful about you guys that was born um, after 6 p.m. in the evening uh, until um, um, 6 p.m. at evening um, you are the moon sign you are who um, were governed by the moon and what is happening is that you have to deal with Gemini Mercury and the fire so some of you um, is going to be working on a lot of stuff because you are going to be removing certain aspect away from yourself Gemini is really um, one of those signs that I really love they carry the two characteristics because Gemini is a, a mutual sign and is that Gemini's are the thinkers okay so you're going to be thinking especially with career um, it's going to be a good good um, full moon for the people who are um, it's going to be a good full moon for the people who are basically um, 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 creative people a lot of good ideas are going to be coming up okay with Neptune um, you're going to be receiving these ideas via the dream time now um, Gemini and this is for the moon people Gemini is a mutual sign and is thinking you're all going to be thinking okay and some Gemini's could be coming in to connect with you in your work fast moving energy okay this is an air energy and it's very fast moving F things are going to be flowing considering and um, every faculty of situation is going to be falling in place is that I think I know I'm motivated I'm creative creative ideas and things are just going to be flowing in to you you're going to be changing your whole atmosphere as, as you come to December 15 you're just going to be changing a lot of things follow your curiosity and don't stop until it satisfy you this is beautiful this is such um, beautiful energies now mercury is going in retrograde and I'm seeing a lot of people having to deal with mercury because mercury is going to go in retrograde it is going to affect some of you people and what is happening is that when mercury comes up it is the um, the messenger that is coming in okay into a between the humans and the gods mercury is all about the mind specifically intelligent and communicative okay the desire to share your ideas and to be heard as well as yawning for uh, 
further education formal or informal is it under the mercury govern so mercury is going to be in mercury is going to be in retrograde so a lot of that is going to be affecting you guys now what i love is that you guys um have the fire sign and this is good because it's going to bring you um the powerful your, your focus is going to be very intense intensive and powerful okay the energy of the fire is going to be burning bright and moving quickly passion is going to be driving you guys the desire to create strong and something sacred emotional like anger and frustration but the fire is going to be um moving you in a positive direction and it is going to be destroying and purify things that no longer serve you a semen in a opposite position and direction of creation but really it's a part of the creative process and um the um qualities of the fire is always about you um clearing what no longer serve you at the end of this going through this process focusing and demonstrating to see something through the end and honoring and following and following your passion so this is going to be um like extremely extremely good this is going to be extremely good it's going to be very positive it's going to be such a wonderful experience that is going to be coming in for you water signs so i'm so grateful this is so good i'm feeling so pa passionate about this now what is happening for you sun and moon sign people neptune a lot of strange dream a lot of strange uh, information is going to be connecting information is going to be coming out so um, for um, the moon it's going to affect both the moon and the, the, the Sun and the moon people and this is going to affect you in your career field and um, for the creators and the kun and and for the creators um, the creators they are going to be very 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 receiving unusual information and using that to make you a success number 21 is here and is the center whoever was born on the 21st of the month uh, if your birthday fall on the 21st of a month this is going to be very very good for you okay some of you are going to be connecting with the Capricorn so if you were born on the 21st of the month that you celebrate your birthday you're going to be co connecting with the Capricorns and they are going to be helping you out they're going to bring you some luck here they're going to bring you some luck okay the Capricorns they're going to bring you some luck um, Mercury is in retrograde so they're going to be helping to balance out but luck um, if you guys were born on the 21st of the month that your birthday is the Capricorns are going to be coming in and helping you guys bringing you guys uh, some luck in for you okay this is wonderful Alrighty, so I'm going to say goodbye to the people um, who are, are just looking at general reading. If you'd like to see the extended of uh, the extension of this reading, because I will be going from um, for another 50 minutes um, to look at uh, other aspect, the general aspect, uh, the healing aspect, and uh, the love and money aspect. So if you'd like to join us on on the mound, I welcome you all. Namaste. welcome to on demand I want to say thank you guys for um, returning thank you so much for returning to on demand we are going to be going further with this reading to see what is coming out okay so let's see we're going to be seeing how Mars is going to be affecting you guys Jupiter is always lucky so let's see how Mars is going to be affecting you guys oh see Daisy sorry wrong card <laughs> We're supposed to be using the eel cards, but I'm so fully in this reading. Okay, so let's move on and see what is going to be happening. Let's see how Mars is going to be affecting you guys. So let's see what is going to be happening. It's all about enlightenment. So Mars is going to be coming in um, to show you guys 